Okay, so just out here checking out a uh, potential prospect. Um, we've got a few hundred meter wide zone with uh, copper pyrites and uh, we're going to sample this and uh, sample a bunch of these uh, zones here and uh, see what we can get back out of them. So this is the first area we're going to sample. You can see all the uh, disseminated uh, pyrite throughout here. So there's there's pyrite in disseminations as well as uh, along here you have veins of sulfides, um, which are fairly thin, uh, but they travel for about 50 meters. So uh, we'll sample this whole area, host rock, and uh, the veins as well. You can see the, the oxidization there. Looks like a piece that's broken off. Alright, we'll head on to the next one and uh, see what we can get out of that after we uh, sample here. So here's the next sample location. Uh, we're going to remove uh, some from here and uh, see what we can get. Again, you have small uh, veins of sulfides um, along with uh, pyrite found as disseminations in the, uh, the host rock. So we'll see what we can get out of this and uh, we'll post the assay results at the end. This is sample location number three. Um, we'll be sampling this as well and uh, seeing what we get out of this. You can see there's a lot of oxidization and then you have your uh, yellowish staining which is your sulfides. Got a lot of uh, blackish colored staining in there too. Okay, so we're going to be sampling this as well. You have uh, quartz veins cutting through your host rock. Um, a lot of them have mineralization, but it's not uh, too extensive. We'll sample what we can and uh, see what uh, the assays come back with. Right here, so I'm at the next area of mineralization. Um, you got again more sulfides. You got this nice huge vein um, of pretty much solid mineral. We've sampled uh, this before, but we're gonna resample and. Uh, Sample this zone. You got your quartz coming through there and 
following along here.